today could be the hottest day of the year so far. And there's been a few hot days. Not very many, but there's been, there have been a few. And then that there, London, it could reach 39 Celsius. Which is warm. Really warm. Just don't get it this warm at 8 o'clock in the morning very often. And the few times I've got that roundabout right, for some reason I never look around the bend enough. When I you know, never look ahead enough when I go around that roundabout, it's always I always feel prepared to piece it. I always feel very nervous going around that roundabout. I think I'm going to slip off. So that time was very comfortable. Now I haven't got my uh, neck warmer today uh, and my neck warmer does double duty as a uh, draft excluder for the helmet uh, to try and reduce the wind noise to get into the mic but it's so damn hot and it will be later on I need to know what the mic's like in its new little uh, sunglasses pouch without the extra draft excluder see if it'll survive uh, this level of noise I bloody hope so it's summer, I don't want to wear a neck warmer I really don't so I, I get the feeling that if I am recording audio at this point then it's probably not doing too bad a job uh, this sunglasses pouch and the furry mic muff inside my helmet it does sound pretty rough uh, even though I'm wearing a pair of earplugs that actually fit properly today. What I literally need to do is wear a new pair of earplugs every time I ride the bike. Rather than risk wearing a crappy old pair of earplugs. Which has sucked up my earwax <laughs> and uh, has stopped fitting properly. Day for oh that's not so good. Okay, fair point. Didn't expect to see a car there stuck on the left-hand side, and probably gave that little Fiat a bit of a scare. 
if he saw me or she. Things you gotta look out for. That's when you think you know the road. You're comfortable doing what you do. Not to say that the conditions won't change. Catch you out. Oh. Go right, and I. Doing. Why the? Oh, he must not know. We've got to pull him. Wow! Where are you putting yourself? Check it out. I've got the 360 camera running this time, so if I want to, I can check it out. So very sunny and warm. Bit of wind, bit windy up here though. In fact, uh, come lunchtime, I think there is a chance of rain. But uh, decided to go for it anyway because it does let rain lunchtime. Should be dry by the time I leave work. I've got to talk here it is next to the hedge.
Anyway, hopefully, you know, you're recording audio. Despite my ham fifty attempts setting it up. Hopefully it just works. God, this road shit. Oh, another change I made today is uh, not wearing my motorcycle boots. You what? What a prick, you might say. Uh, it's not that bad. I have got ankle high boots on. Ever since I had my accident when I was about 18 on my mate's bike. Sorry, Chris, for riding off your bike. Uh, uh, an accident which involved scraping my left ankle down to the bone. Wiring several visits from a district nurse to uh, clean up the infection and to pick out gravel and grit. Uh, oh, a week after it happened because I never went to the hospital. I'm stupid. Ever since that, I've always made sure I've had at least ankle high boots on. The problem with the motorbike boots that I've got that go, you know, halfway up my calf uh, is that uh, I've got to wear motorcycle socks as well because the tops of the uh, boots are a bit itchy. You know, there's Velcro, there's sticking out bits of plastic and fabric. It's quite irritating. Go wear the big socks as well. So I've gone for the uh, ankle height boots this time. It's basically normal socks, and I don't have to change footwear when I get to work. And it's cooler on the bike. Clearly, riskier, riskier proposition. Basically, not preparing for the worst in this case. So I have to hope the worst don't happen. So, good news is, even if I don't uh, record any audio from the GoPro, I'm not relying on it to record motorbike audio because I've gone back to the Lumia under the seat. Because that's, you can basically just trust it. I don't think that's ever really failed me. And the actual sound quality isn't ideal due to the location of the phone. Picks up some transmission whine for whatever reason, even though it's, you know, about as far away from the engine as it can get. Uh, under the back seat where the tool kit usually is. But it does. Get out of my way, vehicles! Just get out of my way! OK, 
okay i reckon that's maybe a bit on the windy side in terms of microphone pickup if the microphone is working we'll wait and see when i get to work in here despite the fact I might not be recording any sound at all. Should be beyond shit. I had the charge connected to the GoPro. I can see it was charging before I started recording. Just on the head of that the house I heard a beep. Which I've, I don't know. It might have come from the camera. I'm not sure what else it could have come from. but it was still charging at that point. And then when I start recording, it doesn't appear to be charging anymore. I can't tell you how frustrated I am that nothing works the way you expect it to. Very pleasant ride. Beautiful summer's morning. Uh, videos of BMW's uh, 16,000 pound S1000 RR. I'm thinking to myself, hmm, that might be all right, you know. Which is just insane, isn't it, really, when you think about it, considering my history and opinions on sports bikes. But I think I need to sit on one. And perhaps take one on the test ride. Just to see if I could deal with it. Apparently, you know, although it can be an extreme bike, the rider position apparently is not extreme. Sporty, yes. Extreme, apparently not. And the Jix is the same. But the main thing will be whether the... Um, power low down will be sufficient but it's got enough power basically I just don't think these bikes these 200 horsepower litre bikes have got enough power because where I want power is basically between 1500 and 3000 rpm as well as everywhere else 
all bikes pretty much all big engine bikes have got more than enough power for me everywhere else in the rev range but if those bikes don't do it for me at 2000 rpm <laughs> I don't want them I want to grunt everywhere and this bike has grunt everywhere Just the other issues like the weight and the suspension lets it down I was toying with the idea thought I forgot about this of converting this bike to naked it'll take quite a lot of work but it has been done before but I figured I'd have to s switch clocks and modify the wiring loom which I'll probably get wrong so I'm not sure that's a goer but imagine losing this fairing and headlight metal work surely I'd be looking at a, like a net loss of five kilos or something if I swap this stuff for a headlight fairing five kilos off the front of the bike isn't to be sniffed at Talking of sniffing, my bloody nose has started running. But it'll take quite a lot of work and buying bits to uh, make it happen, so I don't know. Uh, my nose is running like a bugger. 